Hello and welcome everybody to Feature Friday. Hi, I'm Jackie Kwan, co-founder of Uplifter, and with me today, as always, Garrett Trod, our product expert. How are you doing today, Garrett? Hello, good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing all right. Today, are we are we gonna do are we are we <laughs> today we're gonna chat, I believe, about um, some very common uh, discount options. We know that a lot of clubs actually use Uplifter to manipulate their pricing in various ways, and they want to provide different incentives to get people to uh, register for different programs. And as well, it it, it does uh, increase the uh, the possible volume that you might be able to sell at your club. So, given that we have a lot of clubs that are providing different types of discount and discount options, and Garrett's gonna walk through a couple of our very commonly requested discount options that uh, that we get asked for and show you how to actually set them up. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for that, Jackie. Uh, yes, today we are going to be taking a look at two distinct discounts, and we're going to talk a little bit about how to augment them as well for your personal use there. We're going to be looking at the BOGO discount, the buy one, get one, uh, as well as the family discount, which are uh, two very, very popular and commonly requested discounts to set up within your system. So in order to begin, we are going to pop to the administrative side and we're going to navigate to products and programs, discounts. And we're going to select the add a discount option from the toolbar here, which then allows us to create our first discount. Now for both of our discount types here, we're going to be focusing very heavily on the benefits section. So before we jump into that, let's talk a little bit about the other two sections that are present here. First and foremost, the discount details where you can name your discount, whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, we're going to take a look at the BOGO discount first and talk a little bit about that. You can also specify a date range. Now, technically, your discount, the benefit that we're going to be setting up, will actually be restricted by your season. So if you have a fall winter season or a spring season or what have you, the purchases that users make in order to qualify for the discounts we're about to create need to be purchased within that individual season. So what that means is, generally speaking, you don't technically need these date ranges. You can leave these blank if you'd like to. However, if you would like to impose beginning and end dates, you absolutely can do by setting those here. Next, we're going to use the usage limitations option here and select unlimited use by all members. We're going to pop down to cat or conditions, sorry. The conditions section we're actually not going to use at all for our discounts. Conditions are a way of introducing further restrictions or caveats to uh, in order for your discounts to fire. But these conditions, generally speaking, need to be met on a singular invoice. There are some variations on that, but because they generally need to be met on a singular invoice, it's very often the case that it actually restricts the use or implementation of the discount that we want to have. So in these particular instances, we're going to let the benefit do not only the heavy lifting of checking things, but also applying the discount. And we're going to leave out the condition for right now. So with all of that said, let's take a look at the benefits and talk about the BOGO, the buy one, get one. When we select add a benefit here, we first need to choose what type of benefit or what type of discount we want to implement. A BOGO can use one of two different options here, item count or item count different targets. We're going to be looking, focusing solely on the item count today. Uh, we're going to select this option and when you talk about a BOGO discount or sort of conceive of a BOGO discount, you can think of something like buy two, get one 50% off or buy one, get one free or buy this, get that. And so these are considering how many items you are buying. So they're counting the items. So that's why we're going to use an item count discount. And in the item count discount, we need to specify what items are going to be considered. Now for our example today, I want to actually focus on some basketball programs that I have. Now my basketball programs that I have here, let's actually focus on these. My basketball programs, as you can see, I have quite a few programs, but I also have a basketball camps program. And I actually don't want to include that in my discount. So when we're looking at my benefit here, and we need to choose what items actually qualify, we have several ways of targeting these items. I hit add qualifying items and I can choose what level or what scope of things I want to include. For instance, I could do all of my programs. 
I could do all of my subscriptions or products. It's not limited to just programs. I could do category levels, which might be really handy if I wanted to select everything in the basketball, everything in the basketball situation, <laughs> basketball category level. But as I noted, this basketball camp shouldn't be included. So instead, because I've only got a handful of programs, I'm going to use the specific items option here. This actually lets me narrow things down really, really close to a really, really narrowly here and select just the ones that I want and I can avoid the basketball camp. So there I've selected the items that I want to include, I want to target in order to uh, prompt this discount. So now we get to tell the system how many of these items they need to buy in order to prompt this discount. We're going to go along or we're going to go ahead with the concept of buy two, get one 50% off. So in this instance, I need to tell the minimum or the system the minimum number, which is going to be two in our example. Further, we can also set a maximum quantity. We're not going to do that right now, but we're going to come back to that in just a second. Now, next, we get to set a value. So our value, we want to take 50% off. However, uh, this 50% as of right now is going to come off of all of the programs so long as they buy two. So buy two, three, four, what have you, they're going to get 50% off of all of those. That's not what we want. So there's going to be some additional settings that we need to change. Before we do that, however, we need to select the application group. And for this, we can choose either on a per participant basis or per invoice basis. Per invoice generally aligns with per family. So can multiple children buy three programs collectively and receive this discount? That's totally up to you. In our particular instance, I want the participants to buy three programs themselves. So I'm going to do this on a per participant basis. Next, we get to choose whether or not this discount is applied on a per season basis. As we touched on very briefly at the beginning when we were talking about conditions, there are certain circumstances where you want multiple invoices being processed within the same season to be considered all at once. So let's say for sake of argument in a very common scenario here, the eldest child comes and registers for something and then two or three days down the road, the younger child is like, but I wanna do that too. So then they come back and they sign up the youngest child. Well, in those circumstances, it's probably true to say that, you know, they're buying things across multiple invoices, so that should probably prompt the discount. In this particular instance, we can say yes or no. We do not recommend the deprecated option here. It's either no as the dash dash or yes with the recommended option here. By selecting this, I can actually generate any number of invoices within the same season to prompt this discount. Uh, but again, it is on a per participant basis in this particular instance. Next, we have the ability to uh, toggle whether or not this discount is going to apply beyond the minimum. Now, our example here today is purchase two, get the third one 50% off. And so I've purchased two, but right now it's going to take 50% off those two and anything I buy beyond that. This option here is going to restrict that. This is essentially saying, yes, ignore the first two, or ignore whatever's in the minimum, and only apply the discount after those ones. So now with this set to yes, first and second are full price, and only third, fourth, fifth, et cetera, are going to be 50% off. So that's very, very handy and something you should definitely keep in mind when you're applying these discounts. The final option we have here is a benefit application variance which allows us to apply the benefit even after the maximum count. What that means is if we did have a maximum amount here, let's say for sake of argument three, we could apply this discount beyond that. If we say no to this, what will happen in this particular circumstance is one and two are full price, three is 50% off, and four will actually stop this discount from firing. So if I happen to buy four programs on the same invoice, or since this is seasonal across multiple invoices, this discount won't actually apply. But if I choose this option, the discount still will apply even if I buy four or five programs, but it will only apply the discount to the third one. One and two are regular price, three is 50% off, four, five, etc., are all full price again. Now, generally speaking, you probably won't have a cap in a scenario like this. 
uh, you'll probably have buy two, get the rest however much off, 10%, 20%, whatever you need. You can, of course, augment the minimum. So maybe it's buy three, buy four, whatever you need. And you don't necessarily have to do it after that minimum has been met. Maybe it is buy four and get 10% all, off all of those four. And so you would change this back to a no so that it does not apply beyond the minimum. It applies for all of them. So we're going to return back to two and yes. And this would be a successful setup for my basketball programs to receive 50% off my third and fourth purchase uh, should I go beyond those two. Um, so there's four programs here. I can receive 50% off two of them. Now, oh, go ahead, Jackie. I was just going to say, we do often get um, a lot of organizations and clubs asking us about how to set up their discounts. And, and very often, you might have concocted the way that you normally do your discounts um, in a way that might not be presented as you see on the screen. Um, and one of the reasons why we have so many different options is because we find that clubs want to do things so many different ways. So very often, um, you do need to sort of take a look at the different options and it might not be exactly how you may have phrased your discount in, in your past brochures or your past system, but chances are Uplifter has a way of actually managing those discounts. So you just have to give a little bit of thought in terms of how you want those discounts to apply or fire. Um, and if you ever have questions, you can certainly reach out to our support team and we can usually, you know, take a few time minutes to mull it over and uh, send you the details on, on how to set these, these elements up. Absolutely. Now, if we wanted to, just for sake of argument here, let's say that we want this discount after the second, we want the third program to receive 10% off. That would be this scenario. We've got a minimum of two, 10% off per participant, and we've set the discount to apply only after the minimum. So it ignores the minimum here, one and two. But let's also say for sake of argument that the fourth program should be 15% off, not just 10. In this particular instance, we can perform an action as what we refer to as stacking or tiering those discounts. In order to do so, we're gonna save our first discount so that the 10% off applies to two and beyond. So the third, the fourth, the fifth, everything is gonna receive 10% off. We're gonna create another benefit. We're gonna set this up in much the same way where we're targeting just our specific basketball programs. Boop, boop, boop. And now, very similar per participant and seasonal and beyond our minimum, but this time we're gonna set our minimum to three. And our value is only gonna be 5% off. The reason being is because of the way we've structured our other benefit within this discount. It's applying 10% off of the third, the fourth, the fifth, et cetera. So we only need to apply an additional 5% off of the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, et cetera. So that is the way that we would do that. We would leave no maximum here, that would be blank. And that way these would stack or tier. So that is the BOGO discount. It's a lot of information. And of course, as Jackie noted there, if you're uncertain about how to implement a certain discount, you're more than welcome to reach out to us at support at uplifterinc.com. We can definitely help ensure that you have those implemented. One of the biggest things that we always, always, always stress, which we actually won't be doing today, is test your discounts. Please, even if you've followed this recording, even if you've followed our advice uh, through email, please always test your discounts and ensure that they fire and apply exactly how you want under all circumstances. With that said, let's delete these two benefits and let's take a look at our family discount. Family discounts are essentially look at how many participants are registering within a family and apply a discount based off of the number of participants. In this uh, use case, we're gonna look at a discount where one participant pays full price and the next participant gets 20% off, let's say. The settings Are we for th three discounts today? Well, that first one was just one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, in my eyes, <laughs> I might be confusing people. Um, so the discount details and the conditions, they're gonna stay the same as the previous discount. Uh, so our name, date range blank, usage limit unlimited, and no conditions. And we're gonna select add a benefit. Now this time, instead of selecting the item count discount, 
we're going to look at the participant count discount because we're counting how many participants there are. Now, when we do so, we still need to select qualifying items. These are the items that are going to be considered by the discount should the minimum number of participants be met. This might be all of your programs. It might be everything you sell, including your subscriptions and fees, etc. In this particular instance, you have the same series of options to specify exactly or specify and target exactly what you'd like. So let's say for sake of argument, again, it's our basketball programs, not including our basketball camp program. We're going to do specific items again, and we're going to find and target just our four basketball programs. Now we get to tell the system how many participants need to be registered. In this particular instance, like we noted, one participant pays full, the next participant pays 20% off. We need a minimum of one participant. Very similar to our item count discount, we have that same option of only applying the discount after the minimum has been met. So we know that we can check this off and the first participant will be ignored and pay full price and only the participants afterwards will get that 20% off. Our value is 20. Our discount method is percent off, 20% off. We also can specify the entire season. And this is, uh, it goes in line with the other seasonal discount that we looked at where kid A comes and signs up and two or three days later, kid B wants to do the same thing. This is a great way to make sure that they still receive this discount, even though they're making multiple purchases across multiple invoices. Last but not least, we do have some benefit application variances here. Now, by default, both this discount and the item count discount will discount the cheapest item or the cheapest participant uh, in, on the record or in the family. Uh, so because of that, you can rely on this to, by default, apply in how you want it to in most cases. There might, however, be some circumstances where you want to apply it to the highest cost participant instead. Additionally, you can also, very similar to the item count discount, have this apply past the maximum count if you've applied one. Um, you can also combine those two conditions together if you'd like. So what this test count would do is look at how many participants are registering in the basketball uh, programs I've listed. And if it's past one, then the next options, like two, three, four, et cetera, they'll get 20% off of their registration. So this process here, very similar to the previous discount, you can also stack this if you wanted to. So let's say for sake of argument, participant number two only gets 10% off, participant number three should get 15% off, we can stack these. So we can hit save on this benefit and we can create another benefit within the same discount just like we did last time. Again, we're going to replicate pretty much everything almost identically to how it was. We're going to do that participant count discount. We're going to target the same items. We're going to tell it that it's going to be two participants this time, but only apply past the second. And we're going to do 5% off because we're adding on, we're stacking on to the discount that's already applying to the third participant, which was 10%. So in this particular instance, Participant number two, three, four, et cetera, receive 10% off. And participants three, four, five, et cetera, receive an additional 5%, so 15 in total. And that, or those, are the two most common discounts that we have, the BOGO and the family discount. Jackie, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I was just going to mention that um, although Uplifter is incredibly flexible and allows you to actually set up a, a great number of discounts, and we have encountered a lot of organizations that have come at us with with uh, very complicated discounts in terms of, well, we want it to do this in this case, but then if we have these cases, we want something different to happen, or if we have these cases, we have something completely different to happen. Um, one of the things that, that we often do recommend, but you don't necessarily have to do it with Uplifter is if you have the ability to simplify your discounts a little bit and make it so that everything, you know, is discounted at a percentage rate as opposed to a very fixed price, um, applies to, you know, sort of generally all of your programs or a number of your programs. What that does is it actually simplifies the way that you can set up your discounts and also simplifies the amount of testing that's required to make sure that everything fires the way that you exactly would like. Um, the more complication you add, the more time that you have to spend as an organization to make sure that all of those different combinations of different things that you want um, will get covered. So if you have a bit of flexibility before you actually start setting up Uplifter, setting up your season, setting up your pricing, um, take a look and think about is this 
uh, is this technically feasible with, um, with the tools that I have? And is this going to make it so that it's very difficult for us to set up or, or, or does it simplify things for us? So, so definitely keep that in mind when you actually organize your pricing and organize your discount setup. So, um, but that's all I had to mention. Thank you, Garrett, so much for, for showing us how to uh, take care of some of our very, very common discount options. Um, as mentioned, as we always mention at the end of our Feature Fridays, we'll, I just want to quickly point out that we do have our Refer and Save option. So if you know of another club that could really uh, use some automation, some, some excellent registration tools, some excellent uh, class and club management tools, uh, feel free to refer them by clicking on the Refer and Save link on your administration site, send them a quick email. If they use that link to sign up for their free trial, uh, they'll receive $10 off for six months and you'll receive $10 off for six months after they go live. So, yeah. Jackie, I'm a little disappointed. You didn't use the very obvious segue of discounts to discounts. Uh, oh, I can't believe you didn't do that. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to not be so punny because, oh, okay. because I get all, all I, I, people just groan. Your kids have been making fun of you, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah they have been. <laughs> They just grown at me what all the time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, absolutely. So uh, thank you very much for that, Jackie. And thank you, everyone, for your time today. And I hope uh, you have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you next Friday. Take care. Thanks, everybody.